welcome back to another video. So today I have decided to film a wardrobe reset because two birds with one stone. I need to film a video and I need to do a wardrobe reset. So I thought, you know what, why not bring you guys along with me? It might inspire you to do the same. Feel free to put me on in the background or save me until a weekend when you have some time. So the reason I've decided to do this today is because my wardrobe is feeling quite cluttered at the moment and I just need to go through everything. Not to mention that giving your wardrobe a good old reset makes life easier. It makes putting your clothes away easier. It makes choosing outfit each day easier. And thirdly, I do have a trip coming up and it's going to make it so much easier for me to pack. Just being able to see everything that I have, knowing that it's all clean and ready to go. So I have brought everything into the spare room. This is like the spare room slash my filming room. Um, I've brought everything into here because what I'm thinking of doing is I'll sort it in here and then right when I've sorted it and folded it I'll then take it back into my bedroom and put it away in my wardrobe. So I will bring you guys along with me. I am going to be sorting it in three different piles. Keep, sell and donate. So my donate pile isn't actually very big because I have been on this whole capsule wardrobe journey so I don't tend to buy clothes that I feel as though I can't kind of resell. So once I pulled everything out, hung it on this rail and guys there is a pile next to me. Once I pulled everything out of my wardrobe, I gave it all a good wipe down with spray and wipe and that just made it smell really fresh and obviously got rid of any dust from any of the shelves or inside my drawers. There are definitely things on this rail that I can sell or donate. So yeah, it's just going to be a case of going through everything. I'll put a little bit of a time lapse on um, and first of all, I'll sort it into piles and then I'm thinking I'll fold everything or hang it and then that's when I can kind of take it into my um, wardrobe and start putting it all away. Now when it comes to organizing my clothes, I am not a hoarder. I am ruthless when it comes to getting rid of my clothes and never once have I regretted anything that I've sold or donated. Now to be honest, my donate pile is usually quite small so I just grab myself a like plastic kind of shopping bag and this is what I use. I used to have to bring in a roll of garbage bags years ago and I would have garbage bags full of clothes going to um, the donation bin but nowadays something like this will be more than enough um, and then here I have a wicker basket. This is going to be all the clothing that I decide to sell and then once I kind of clear this rail get everything back in my room I will hang up all the items that I do decide to sell. This is why it's great having a railing. If you've got space to have a railing um, I use it all the time not just for YouTube but when I'm doing stuff like this. So that is my kind of sorting pile. I also wanted to mention that I think I will be getting rid of a lot of clothes in this particular clear out because I don't work from the office as much as I used to and I held on to a lot of corporate kind of clothing just in case we went back to the office full time after COVID but we haven't and I only work in the office twice a week so I do not need all of the work kind of clothes. Those I plan to kind of put aside and give to my sister because she's a teacher and obviously um, wears different clothes every single day so I know she'll put those to good use. I am going to put on some YouTube. I've actually found a YouTube video of someone else organizing their wardrobe which I'll put on on the back in the background. So yeah, let's get sorting. everything it is really good to take some time to reflect on everything that you're donating or all the items that you're going to sell and try and figure out what the common denominators are so for me I can see that the items that I am these ones actually have to go in the rubbish just because I have worn them so much that they either have rips in them some, one of the pairs of these jeans the zips is broken and another pair has like stains all over it so they actually have to go in the rubbish this here is my donate pile when I look at everything in here the common denominator is it's all brands uh, fast fashion it's either Zara or cotton on and items that I are good enough to donate but I don't really want to go to the effort of putting them on Depop because they just won't sell and even if they do sell they might go for like $15 and then shipping is $10 so 
yeah, it's just annoying and it's a lot of time. So they are all the fast fashion items. And looking at the railing here of everything that I have decided to sell, I'm hoping a lot of this does go to my sister. Some of the items I have worn so much that I'm kind of just not reaching for them anymore because I've worn them to death. Like for example, this Anina Bing shirt, I just don't find I'm reaching for it anymore. I think maybe it's the color that I'm not reaching for. So I am going to sell that. Um, this Beckenbridge dress, again, I've just worn it so much that I feel as though um, it is ready to go to a new home. And then everything else, the common denominator is that it doesn't fit right. So it is really important in future, even though I think they're nice items, that I try and stick to brands that I know fit me properly. So I'm just going to leave this railing until later when I have some time to put all of these items onto Depop. So I'll do all of that later. While I have the energy, I am now going to go through everything that I've decided to keep and fold it all, hang it all up properly and transfer it into my wardrobe. Before I go ahead and put all of these clothes into my wardrobe, I am going to go through, give any items a bit of a steam if they need it and a bit of a spot clean. So I like to do this to prolong the life of my clothing. Get washing your clothes in the washing machine obviously wears your clothes out. So where I can, I do spot clean. I see nothing wrong with it. If an item does need to go through the wash, then so be it. But if it has a little mark on it or there might be a little bit of makeup around the collar, I will do my best to spot clean it, especially if it still smells kind of fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will be using, this is a face cloth. I've just um, rinsed it under warm water and added a little bit of washing detergent so that way I can kind of get rid of any marks and then I'll go over it with my steamer. Now with my steamer I am using this, um, it's kind of like a scent attachment. So basically the steam comes through. You use this little attachment here and I put a couple of drops of eucalyptus oil um, into there and basically push it back in and whenever the steam comes through it smells like eucalyptus oil. It is the best thing ever and it makes your clothes smell so fresh like they've just come out of the wash. Um, it's basically it's like a natural scent booster really but I do keep Remy out of the room when I'm doing this because I believe eucalyptus oil, like the scent, um, is quite harmful for dogs. So I just make sure she's out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and steam everything, give it a bit of a clean. So that way, when it goes back into my wardrobe, it's ready to be worn. I don't have to put something on and then last minute go, oh my God, it's got a mark on it. I hate that feeling. So yeah, I actually really enjoy this process. And if you don't already have a steamer, you need to get one. <laughs> wardrobe reset and not only does my wardrobe look really nice and neat and tidy but it smells amazing honestly guys that eucalyptus oil in the steamer kind of hack is a game changer I absolutely love to do that to freshen up all of my clothing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you got some tips and inspiration from it or motivation more importantly and yeah now I have a bag for charity a bunch of items that I am going to try and sell on Depop and I also have a very small list of items that I will be looking at for on Depop and I felt were kind of missing from my wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye guys!